so in this tutorial I will be teaching data types and operators uh, for the for a specific programming language like Java and C++ so the operators the data types you have studied in C++ are also there in Java so we are going to cover the data types so as we all know that our computer works on uh, the binary uh, format so it knows only ones and zeros so uh, we have a lot of data uh, and they are of different types for example we have characters like a b c d we have integers which are the numbers only one two three four we have some floating point values like the decimal numbers 2.3 4.8 and so on so I'm going to introduce you to some of the data types so first of all uh, we have this table and these are the four data types that we're going to discuss so what we do is uh, whenever we want to assign a value to a data or if we want to assign data uh, to a variable what we do is uh, we define what type of data that variable is going to uh, hold so let's suppose I create a variable a variable is just a uh, you can say that it's just it can be like int x equals 10 so if you have studied programming language before you already uh, you're already familiar with that so when we create a variable we assign some data to it because a variable can hold any value so when we do that uh, we before doing before assigning a particular value to, to uh, that particular variable what we have to do is we will have to specify the type of data that variable can hold before assignment so uh, let's suppose we have uh, we want to say that the variable can hold values ranging from uh, minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight to this number so if our integer is in between this range then what we're just going to do is uh, we're going to assign the data type uh, of that variable as int so these are basically uh, the data types and these are also the reserved keywords so you can't use these these keywords for any other naming purposes so let's suppose uh, I choose a number in between uh, this range and I want to assign it to a variable x so the data type of that variable should be int similarly uh, these are uh, different ranges so if your integer is very large value if it is holding a very large value you can assign it as long if it is uh, taking a smaller values you can assign short and byte and the reason why there are different uh, data types and in integers for these ranges is because the uh, the memory problem so if you want to store uh, a smaller digit you should consider the short data type because um, it will take less memory than the integer one so the memory uh, is also considered uh, some more data types are the float double and char so float and double uh, they both handle the decimal numbers for example let's suppose i say uh, 2.5 4.6 and like this float has a very uh, float has lesser uh, range than the double so if you have a number which has uh, which has decimal number up to a lot of places so you can assign it as double next is the character data type so character data type is just the alphabets which are the a b c d x y z so uh, you what we're going to do is in the eclipse ide we will assign the data types to the different variables like uh, we will assign float we will assign double and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, perform some operations on the data which uh, are performed using some operators which we will discuss uh, so this is also another data type which is the boolean data type and it holds value like true and false so if uh, anything is if a condition is true then the 
or if a variable is holding uh, either two of the values uh, true or false then we can assign its data type as boolean so now let's move on to the uh, next topic which is the operators so now we have specified the data type of a particular variable so we know that what type of data that uh, sorry the computer knows what type of data that specific variable is going to hold and we will just I will just display some results in the Eclipse IDE so let's discuss some of the operators so that we, we will be able to uh, apply some operations like addition multiplication division and so on so you can see that uh, in this table we have these operators and these are known as the arithmetic operators so a plus means addition so if you want to add two numbers or two variables with some data type like integer or float and this operator can add uh, those two values it is also a unary plus which means that it if you uh, write plus after a particular integer it means that it is a positive number and similarly there is subtraction multiplication uh, multiplication is represented by asterisk so division then the modulus modulus gives us the remainder of uh, remainder uh, by dividing the two variables so there is a plus plus operator which is increment operator so if you will write plus plus x and let's suppose the variable x is having the value 10 so the value will become 11 so plus plus increments the value of a particular uh, variable by one next is the addition assignment subtract assignment multiplication assignment and the division assignment and the modulus assignment so in these in all of them what we are just going to do is uh, let's suppose we have a variable x and I'm writing it as x plus equals to 10 so this is uh, same as x is equals to x plus 10 so this is then assignment operator which means that you are adding a particular value to the variable and then you are assigning it back to it and similarly in case of subtraction we are going to subtract the value from the variable and then we're going to assign that value to the variable we will see uh, all some of them in the eclipse ide so the next is the relational operators so here are some relational operators and they are used to compare two conditions or two statements so let's suppose uh, this is the equal to operator so if the condition on both the sides of this double equals is uh, uh, are true then the condition will evaluate to be true and we will use these relational operators in the if else statements in the flow control part so even if you will not pay attention to these just uh, just remember what uh, these values are so this is a not equal to operator this is greater than less than greater than equal to or less than equal to and we will use them in the if else statements and in a lot of places so they are relational operators because they compare the two values and they give a particular output as true or false so next are next is this table which is the boolean uh, operators so the boolean operators gives the uh, two values it gives either true or false and you can see that there are some operators like logical and so this is the logical and logical or logical or so if you have studied boolean algebra uh, you will be familiar with these all of them so this is a, a short circuit or this is a not so if you apply a no, uh, an exclamation after some variable it is going to change uh, or it is going to just revert its value so let's suppose the value of a variable a is true and you put an exclamation after that variable so it will make it false similarly here are some more uh, boolean algebra uh, this one is the conditional operator we will also see an example of it it is a ternary if then else 
and uh, we will I will just uh, show it in the Eclipse IDE so let's do the main task uh, let's move on to our Eclipse IDE and we left off uh, at this point and this is Java so what I'm just going to do is we are concerned with this section only so first let's create some variables so you create variables like this in Java or in C++ first you write the name of the variable like A or B and then you assign the data type of it so uh, the computer will know that a variable A is going to hold value uh, in the range which we have seen in the table uh, before so now let's assign some values to the integers A and B so here are the two values that we have assigned so A has been assigned a value 12 B has been assigned a value 23 so now what we're going to do is we're going to display the addition of these two numbers so system dot out dot print ln is used to print the output to our console screen so I'm going to write here a plus b which will give us the sum of which will display the sum of the a and b in the output screen so uh, let me just run this program so this should be println so let's run this program and see its output so you can see that uh, in this output screen we have got the 35 which is the sum of these two numbers and similarly uh, we can also you can also try it with all other data types like subtraction division uh, you can even try the modulus operator so it will just give the remainder after dividing these two values so let's move on to the assignment operator let's do an example of an assignment operator so let's suppose I want to write here a plus equals 10 so what it is going to do is it is going to assign it is going to first add uh, the val value of the variable by 10 and then it is going to assign it to the variable a so a plus equals 10 is similar to a equals a plus 10 so that's very simple so I'm going to again display the value of A. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to display the value of A. So let's run this program again. So now you can see that uh, it is giving the value 22. So initially the value was equal to 12. But after us using this A equals A plus 10 or a plus equals 10 it will add 10 to this uh, 12 value so which gives us 22 and we're displaying uh, the variable so in this manner you can use different uh, arithmetic operators so try it out uh, yourself in the IDE and uh, we will study some re uh, relational operators in the flow control uh, series so in that we will use if else we will use for loops while loops and a lot of uh, other uh, stuff which uh, will compare to values and will give a specific output we will also see the conditional operator so that's it so thanks for watching